One got knocked down, he won't get up again The other went knocked him down One got knocked down, and now he's fucking dead The other went knocked him out Naughty Dog, one of the best game development companies of all time. And they've made video games that will last for generations, with hits like The Last of Us or the games that today's Soup Fighters origi originate from. That's right, we have one hell of a matchup between Nathan Drake, the mapper of the Uncharted, and Crash Bandicoot, the marsupial maniac. Sick Parvis Magna, meaning greatness from small beginnings. My personal motto, but more importantly, the motto of Nathan Drake, the treasure hunting extraordinaire from one of my favorite video games. Now, Nathan Drake doesn't actually have any powers, other than his stupidly high luck, but he makes up for this with his large ass arsenal. Nathan Drake wields a grappling hook, useful for swinging across things, as well as multiple pistols, for ranging from semi-automatic to full auto, even three round bursts and shotgun pistols, and even a revolver. He also carries multiple types of shotguns, as well as multiple assault rifles and multiple sniper rifles. He also has his standard frag grenades for blowing shit up, and a grenade launcher and an RPG in case the shit he needs to blow up is even stronger. Now, Nathan's beaten up your standard goons and large men with a few punches, even killed them with said punches. He's also killed zombies, yetis, and even genies, and he's lifted large metal doors before. He's also pushed large boulders and pillars with ease, and he constantly makes large jumps and scales mountains. Even while freezing and bleeding to death, he actually managed to climb out of a train that was hanging off a cliff while freezing and bleeding, and get, uh, get up and proceed to kill multiple people. Nathan Drake is a badass. Not as badass as myself, obviously, but he's still a badass. He's fast enough to, out, uh, to run out of the way of gunfire, fist fight full grown men, and even sword fight a man with only punches. He's outrun an explosion tr uh, explosive trap before and even made a 19 foot jump from a freaking standstill. That's ridiculous. Now Nathan has shown that he is ridiculously durable too, as he's repeatedly withstood being stabbed, slashed, shot, can withstand blows from superhumanly enhanced foes and even zombies and yetis. He's also taken hits from grenades that only seem to stun him temporarily unless they are right next to him. He's also a fucking genius, with huge amounts of knowledge about history and archaeology, and he's outwitted incredibly smart enemies before. And as I mentioned earlier, he improvises a whole shit ton, using the environment as an advantage for combat. But Nathan's biggest strength is also his biggest flaw. You see, luck, no matter how high, only goes so- Crash Bandicoot! God, this game makes me want to punch a hole through the fucking TV! This game is hell! But nevertheless, it is fun in small doses. Oi. Crash Bandicoot doesn't actually have any powers of his own, but instead he makes up for it with a big arsenal. You see, he's got his Wumpa Bazooka that launches Wumpa Fruits. They're kind of like apples, except they don't taste like them, they don't really look anything like them. So I guess they're not really apples. But he also has a jetpack that allows him to sort through the air, as well as an alien-style mech suit that definitely won't get him a lawsuit that can also launch Wumpa Fruits. His best piece of equipment is his good friend Aku Aku, who's a floating piece of driftwood. I mean a magical tiki mask that grants him a boost in durability. He also has two special moves that he uses in combat, like his iconic spin attack that he can use to destroy his foes or his sidekick that he can use to get in close. So let's talk stats. Crash Bandicoot is freaking, just like really freaking strong. He can smash crates lined with metal with his body slams, and he can lift woolly mammoths. Typically a woolly mammoth would weigh about six tons. He's also taken on and beaten titans. He's defeated Crunch while he's powered up by an elemental mask, as well as Neocortex, who can destroy, uh, who can survive a shuttle crashing from space. And Aku Aku is actually stronger than another mask that could destroy an entire town with a natural disaster. Oh, and he can also summon those titans I mentioned earlier for extra backup. Now, Crash Bandicoot is also crazy fast. He can outrun a Triceratops that has a calculated speed of 20 miles per hour. He can also outrun a Polar Bear that can run at about 25 miles per hour, and he's dodged bullets as well, uh, bullets, and he can even scale a Neocortex, who can dodge near point-blank lightning. Now, Crash was capable of surviving a TNT explosion that destroyed an ocean liner, and he survived a satellite crashing into the side of a volcano. Not to mention, Aku Aku can shield, uh, shield Crash at the cost of his own body, allowing Crash to survive an even deadlier blow. Alright, so intelligent. While Crash is incredibly skilled in combat, and he knows how to use his arsenal quite well, he's a fucking idiot. Like, there's no way around it. He's only ever said one word, and it was pancakes, and he's so stupid, he thought Cortex in some makeup was his sister. His biggest flaw is his stupidity, and the fact that he uses fruit as a weapon, but the fruit's pretty powerful. So really, his one and only flaw is his absolute fucking stupidity. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's see which Naughty Dog poster boy comes out on top. Nathan Drake is walking through Insanity Beach, looking at his map, when he stumbles upon a Wumpa Fruit. Nathan picks up and takes a bite as he hears a shock. Woo! 
in the background. He looks over to see Crash Bandicoot standing there. He continues to walk away. Uh, he continues to walk away as he goes to take another bite of his Wumpa Fruit, but it's shot out of his hand by another Wumpa Fruit. Nathan Drake looks over to see Crash holding a bazooka. Nathan Drake reaches for his handgun as Crash runs towards him. Nathan fires a few shots at Crash, who slides under the bullets and gets in close to Nathan. Nathan throws a left hook at Crash, who grabs his hand and spins, throwing Nathan Drake into a tree. Nathan starts to stand back up as Crash throws a crate at him full force. Nathan pulls out a shotgun and fires at the crate, shattering it. Crash runs over and jumps at Nathan, who throws a grenade at Crash and shoots out of the air, blowing up, uh, blowing up the grenade and knocking Crash back into a hut. Crash stands back up and summons, uh, uh, summons a mask that floats around him. Nathan pulls out a grenade launcher and fires at Crash. The grenade hits Aku Aku, blowing up, doing seemingly nothing, actually. Crash then summons a Titan that charges at Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake barrel rolls to the side, uh, dodging the Titan as he starts unloading an AK-47 into the Titan. The Titan turns around only to be met with an RPG shot to the face. The Titan flies back into a TNT crate, causing it to explode, killing the Titan. Nathan turns around to see Crash Bandicoot in a mech suit. Nathan Drake then stares at the mech and yells, Oh, come on! Crash then starts launching Wumpa Fruit at Nathan, who rolls behind a rock and opens up a nearby crate, only to find a minigun. Nathan pops up and starts to rev up the minigun as he starts unloading it into the mech. Crash's mech's legs start to break down as he ejects from the mech and dive kicks at Nathan, causing him to drop the gun. Nathan then swings at Crash and hits him in the face as he follows up with a gut punch. Nathan reaches for his Desert Eagle to finish off Crash, as Crash does one last spin, splitting Nathan Drake in half. Big thanks to Cornell Keith for help with the Crash Bandicoot research, and our winner is Crash Bandicoot, and with total ease as well. Looking at strength and durability, Nathan Drake was capable of killing full-grown men in a few punches, pushing large boulders, and even making a 19-foot jump. And he has an expl uh, explosives that can take out tanks and grenade, uh, grenade bat blasts as well. He's also able to take a grenade blast that barely hurts him, and even taking gunshot he's even taken gunshots before. But Crash Bandicoot can kill huge mutants with melee attacks, and he can launch large boulders with his spins. He's also beaten Cortex who survived a satellite crash that hit the side of a volcano, and Crash survived that same crash as well. He's also survived an explosion that sunk an ocean liner, so Crash takes strength and durability with ease. What about speed? Well, Nathan Drake is quick enough to throw a grenade and shoot it out of the air, and he's fist fought people as well, uh, like full grown men before, and even barrel rolled away from explosions. And as I mentioned, he can jump a 19 foot gap from a standstill. But Crash can outrun a polar bear and dodge machine gun fire, as well as scale the Cortex, who can dodge the lightning. So Crash takes speed with ease as well. Really, Nathan's only advantage in this fight is his extreme luck and intelligence, and luck can really only get you so far. Now, I will give you his on-the-fly creativity is pretty good, but it will only get him so far. Now, there is a 1 in 100 chance that Nathan Drake pulls off this victory, and that would be if he is able to get a hold of one of Crash Bandicoot's inventions, or weapons, rather. If he were to get a hold of Crash's mech suit, jetpack, or Wumpa Fruit Bazooka, there's a chance he could take victory. Next time on Combo Breaker! You know what's a really overpowered superpower? Being a speedster. You got the super speed, super strength, healing factor, phase through walls. It's really fucking broken. So next time we've got two epic speedsters throwing, in, uh, throwing down an epic fight to the death. That's right, we have a battle between the Flash and Fast Pass. First of all, let me thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this to any friends you know who like versus debates. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think of the next match. Give me your predictions, maybe suggest matches in the comments, and they might happen.